Hello, good morning, happy Monday. I am vlogging, I'm sorry if the quality is bad. Um, quick little disclaimer, I in my editing software, okay, my camera broke, remember, remember that? And in my editing software, <clears throat> um, it like, when I have to import footage from my phone, it does not like my phone for some reason so it's like all like choppy and like when i'm playing it back but it exports fine but it's so annoying to edit so i made the quality on my phone lower quality it's 1080p instead of 4k which i know 1080p is not really like that low quality that's i think what youtube is anyway but it's low quality for like my phone i guess i i don't know i'm trying it hopefully it works if not I don't know leave recommendations below but I'm pretty sure that's the that's the reason is the quality is too good for my editing software so it won't like load fast enough and yeah whatever but exports fine so I mean <clears throat> if it's something that I have to live with I will sorry about my voice I don't know what's going on on Saturday was my bachelor no on Saturday was our engagement party so I was yelling screaming all night <clears throat> and yeah and it's also seven in the morning, so I have morning voice too. Um, but yeah, this weekend was really, really fun. Our engagement party was so, 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 so much fun. And yeah, we're back at it. This is a full week of school, so I'm gonna film a week in my life because I haven't filled, filmed a proper week in my life. And I just wanna show you everything that goes on in first grade. And today we have a busy day. I have morning duty because I do the morning reading program. And so we like all get assigned like a day that we have to do like the morning duty. So <clears throat> I have morning duty today. I have bus duty in the afternoon. I have a meeting at four o'clock and we have bus drills today. So there's a lot going on, but I'm going to head to school. I'm stopping and getting a bagel and some hot chocolate because I need it. <laughs> um, and yeah, so that is it. I will see you when I get to school and give you the rundown of what is happening today. I'm like pretty much ready to go I think but it's been a couple of days we had off on Friday so I don't really remember like what is going on today is this like a crease in my hair do you see that what the heck there's like a random do you see that what is that crease in my hair so funny also don't mind the ginormous crater on my head it's huge <laughs> I can't with this piece okay I'm turning on the heat I know we are going to get food and then to work. Just made it here. Got my bacon. Got my hot chocolate. Cause I'm a child. Get that over. Um, there's a lot of things on the floor that fell while I was not here. So I have to go and fix all of that. <clears throat> Other than that, we're doing good. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of things that are falling. So I'm just wearing like this sweater dress with leggings and high knee boots. I also got some orange juice. And my lovely baby. <clears throat> Let's see what the plans are for today. I write my plans on this big piece of paper now. Or actually, it's, it's a small piece of paper, I guess. And I don't write them out like fully anymore. Just trying to... Uh, make my life easier. So I'm actually gonna start off with a read aloud today. Maybe I'll grab it from my, why is my garbage can over there? I don't know what's going on in this room. I don't know what's happening. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna start off with a read aloud. We're reading Lily's Big Day. We're reading books by, we're doing an author study by Eric Carl. I can't, I, I don't know how to pronounce his name. I think it's Carl. Uh, <clears throat> my voice is like killing me today. I also think it's like the weather that's not helping either because one day it's really hot. Like Saturday, it was so warm outside. It was probably like almost 80. And today, it's like 40. So my ears are like clogged. Like I think it's like allergies. <laughs> we got a lot going on. Um, <clears throat> and then we're doing foundations and we switch for foundations. And then we're going to do math from 10.30 to 11 and then 11 to 12, we're doing iReady Minutes because we need this. <clears throat> this 
says we are gobbling up our past I ready quizzes. So far they have 59 past quizzes. Our goal is 100. And then I said I would give them a surprise. I have no idea what the surprise will be yet. We're gonna do that today. And then they're gonna go to gym and I meet with my mentor student. And then, sorry, but this is like, Um, and then my students get pulled out for ENL services and I will be pulling my students that are here with me for guided reading. And then we're gonna do a poem and we're gonna go to lunch and then we're gonna do work, no, write about reading and then daily five and then snack. And then we're gonna do science. I have a brain pop to watch. And, <clears throat> and then we're gonna talk about, ooh, sorry. And talk about transparent, translucent, all those opaque, all that stuff. So we had a lot, we had a lot going on today. I'm sorry about my voice, I know it's terrible. But right, I'm going to eat this, pick up all of the things around my room that fell, and move some desks. I must have had like a new custodian over the weekend. Because it's looking scary in here. Hold on. I need some tape. Parts of a pumpkin saw. figure out what I'm gonna do with these desks because I have two students who need to be by themselves. So I'm gonna fix that really quick. Let me go grab my book that I'm gonna read. Why is this garbage all the way up here? This is my garbage. <clears throat> I don't know where the post-it button for the front of this book. I have post-its all in the box. Okay, um, I think that's it. I'm gonna fix these desks, eat my breakfast, make sure I have everything for it. Oh my gosh. It never ends, guys, it never ends. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna get myself ready for the day. Sorry, that was really, look at this, how cute. Author, illustrator. My kids really struggled with that, so that really helps them and they look for it around the room now. Okay, I think that's it. I'm gonna go figure out this desk situation. And then, yeah, I will try to talk to you on prep if I have time. Um, like I said, I meet with my little mentor student today, so hopefully I can talk to you. Hello, I'm on prep now. Um, we did bus drills, which was good. And we did foundations and math. I pulled a small group for math. Um, my students are struggling with the concept that I'm teaching them. It's counting on to subtract and they're associating it with counting on to add because that's what we did in the last um, lessons. So they're just like a little bit confused. So kind of like trying to drill like that we're subtracting, we're taking away. So it's just, it's been, it's a work in progress, but they know how to subtract. So I'm not too stressed about it because I have to take a look at the test again. Um, I don't think there's too much of like specific strategies that they have to use on the test, like where they can just kind of like pick their own strategies. Um, so I have to take a look at it again. I was told that I can kind of reword the questions, which is good um, if I wanted to. I don't think I, I'm, I'm gonna look at it and see if I need to reword any of the questions. The test isn't um, for maybe like another two weeks or two lessons, I think. Um, so we'll see. I don't know. I have to figure that out, but they did a lot better today. I moved some seats, especially my friends that needed some extra support. So I moved them and I think it's working out pretty well for them. So I'm happy about that. Um, I mean, it's only been 
two and a half hours. But listen, it's it's progress. So right now they're at gym. I have to go pick up my mentor in a couple of minutes. Um, and I guess I can throw out my hot chocolate because I did not finish that and now it's cold. Um, and yeah, so the rest of the day, after they come back from gym, they're gonna go to their pullouts. I'm gonna pull a guided reading group. They've been working on their writing. They're actually like typing on like a Word document. So um, it doesn't look like a lot because they're typing it. So they're like, oh my gosh, like I need to add more. And I'm like, no, 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 you wrote like five sentences, which is good for first grade. I'm like, but it doesn't look like a lot because your font is so small, you know, as compared to them writing, it's a lot bigger and takes up more space. Um, so we're gonna do that. And then in between, we're gonna do a poem. I have a, I think I have one fat turkey or something like that as their poem. And they're gonna lunch. And then they're gonna do work on, write about reading. I keep calling it work on writing. Write about reading, um, which today, I don't remember what today is. Let me see. Today is things that you like to do at school. So hopefully that'll be a nice conversation to have. Um, and then regular daily five, I'm gonna pull some groups today. I'm hoping I can get to a bunch. Um, I should be able to because I can pull I might be able to pull during work on writing. Okay. Write about reading. Ah, I keep messing that up. And then they're gonna eat snack after daily five. I'm thinking I'm just gonna do a nice chill snack because we started off the day strong. Like I started off reading Lily's big day to them and I told them like, this is what we're gonna do from now on. I wanna get my read aloud like out of the way. I mean, we didn't finish it. So maybe I'll finish reading that during snack actually. Um, they love Kevin Hankies and I love Kevin Hankies because <laughs> I love Kevin Hankies because they love Kevin Hankies. And then um, we're gonna do some science. I have a brain pop, I think I said this earlier. I have a brain pop video. And then um, we're gonna talk about just like translucent, translucent, transparent, and opaque things. I don't know if I'll get to all three of them today. It's okay. This lesson is a little bit more relaxed. There's not like a really big experiment to go with it, which is good for me. <laughs> um, so yeah, we made this math anchor chart. Subtraction, we talked about the parts of a subtraction um thing and i think that also really helped them so like we talked about five is how many we have three is how many we're taking away and two is how many we have left and as we were doing that i showed i like modeled it with them so um i think it worked well i think it stuck for some of them um i also have to go through some of my foundation stuff because my group like we switch for foundations so i have like the like the mid group um and they're just struggling with vowels like when they're tapping out sounds um, to make words, they um, are just having a little bit of sh like struggles with um, like the vowels, which is pretty common. Um, so um, that's why I'm not like super concerned. But you know, especially I and E, especially with like the high ELL population that we have, um, you know, there's it's it's difficult for for the vowels and I and E and like E is I in Spanish, I think. So it's like. It's just it's a little bit difficult because sometimes they'll mean one but they'll say the other because that's what it is in spanish you know so um i'm just trying to catch that early and yeah so they're actually going to take their test in a couple of days for foundations but i'm going to talk to you after because i have to go meet with my mentor and i'm gonna have her help me pass out some things on all the desks she does that all the time she loves to do that and we just chat and we talk and um you know ask her how things are going what's going on you know um, so yeah, I'm gonna go get her and I will hopefully talk to you after that and um, You know check in a little bit more Hello, I am back. I met with my mentor I am going to print out some supplemental materials for my foundations class I'm feeling a little bit better as the day goes on. I feel like a lot better this morning when I was reading the read aloud I was struggling <laughs> I have my orange juice, extra vitamin C, never hurt anyone, even though I take vitamin C pills every day. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm trying to think of like what went on today. Mondays and Thursdays are like a little bit crazy for me because I have my prep in the morning. And so I have like less time for everything, especially with my pullouts. So it's just a little bit difficult to get to everything that I want to in the morning, but Everything is a-okay. Everything is a-okay. Oh, I have to print out those. Okay. Game plan. Game plan. Game plan. I'm going to print 
out their things for their writer's notebooks because they have to have a list of books that they want to read and books that they loved or books that they liked. So I have to print out that for their reader's notebook or writer's notebook, whatever it is. What else can I chat with you guys about? There's a bug on my wall. Love that for me. Does anybody else, the students, like notice like the littlest things? Like one time there was like a tiny spider on the ceiling and someone goes, oh my God, there's a spider. I'm like, okay, relax, everything's fine. The quality is definitely a lot worse because I look crazy unless that's just how I look today. Go me. Yay me. Yeah, I have bus duty today. I think I said that this morning. Tragic, tragic, tragic. Um, I have to pick chaperones for our field trip that we're going on in December and I don't know who I'm gonna pick because my class, I like tried to feel them out and I'm like, whose parents stay home during the day? I mean, like I know that the parents could take off of work, but I don't want to put them in that situation. Um, I think I'm going to... I'm gonna ask two parents and see what happens with that. Let me just read this thing and make sure I'm doing it right. Field trip, we're going to see Elf, the Elf, the, not Elf, but some Elf thing, not the movie Elf. <laughs> um, it's like a kid's one. I feel like I have a lot of time to talk, but I feel like I have nothing to talk about. So I'm gonna go make those copies and yeah, I will catch up with you later good morning it is tuesday and freezing i brought my jacket today yesterday i forgot to bring my jacket and bus duty was really freaking cold <laughs> um i need gas but i think i'm gonna get gas on the way home when i'm going to the gym because there's no like gas gas station on my way to school that I like, and you know, I'm particular about my gas stations because I hate them. So I only go to certain ones. <laughs> so I guess I'll do that on the way home. Hopefully I make it there. <laughs> um, normally I'm pretty good about getting gas, but I just, it's not my favorite thing to do. Um, anyways, today's Tuesday, happy Tuesday, November 15th, I think. And I don't know what's in the agenda for today. I made my little post-it note yesterday about what I like my plans for the day so I have to look at that I think pretty much just the same as every Tuesday we don't really do anything like too too crazy uh, Fridays are our days where we kind of like review relax we chill they have fun Friday um, but it's only Tuesday so none of that yet <laughs> uh, I made a bagel this morning and I had to put it in tin foil. I know tin foil is like not the best, but it's the only way to keep it warm. I also want to be eating a cold bagel and I don't want to do that. <laughs> I have my iced tea, I have my water, and I have my gym bag because I'm going straight to the gym. I've been going straight to the gym after work, uh, I think since last week, and it's been game changing for me because I hate going home and then having to go back out. Once I'm home, I don't want to leave. So Billy's like, why don't you just bring your gym bag with you? And I was like, okay, fine, I'll bring it. <laughs> and so I've been bringing it and it's been really good. So happy about that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go to work now. What is this car doing? Okay. That was really weird. Okay, I'm gonna go to work and I will talk to you when I'm there. I have reading groups this morning. So I have to figure out a plan for that because some students are still testing and some are done. So I have to figure out what we're going to be doing. So I will talk to you then. See you in a little bit. Well, this is why I hate gas stations. I'm literally, I was like, okay, I'll just go right now. Get it done with. And there's literally a fight. Screaming. Screaming match. I want to go home. <laughs> in the classroom gonna give you the rundown of the day on my little notepad <laughs> okay so I'm going to start off the day with a read aloud again I did that yesterday 
and it worked pretty good and I finished it in like in the middle of the day at some point I forgot when I finished it but um so that worked out really well because otherwise I can't I don't have like a big chunk of time where I can read the whole story to them so I do it in like two chunks and I think it helps them um, understand it more and like I said we're doing Kevin Hankey's so they're like loving him right now so it's making life very easy <laughs> Um, and then we do nine, we do foundations at 950 <clears throat> and then we're going to do some math. So we're taking our quiz. Oh, we're taking our quiz today. Okay. So we're going to probably do, hmm, so maybe we won't do I ready today. Mm, I don't know. I do want to take the quiz. We're on lesson six, session five. So I want to see like how they do with the quiz. Um, and then we're doing daily five we are doing work right about reading first um i did it yesterday with them and i actually pulled a small group while they were doing it and it worked very well i was very surprised like and then we're gonna do some snack and then i'll finish the read aloud during snack and then my students get pulled out i'll pull a guided reading group and then we're gonna do a math fluency page and then we're gonna go to lunch and recess and then when we come back, we're going to finish the fluency because we have like a 10 minute time thing in between um, lunch and library. So we'll do fluency and then we're going to library and then we're going to come back and do science. I didn't get to science yesterday. Um, <clears throat> this is not right. I don't know what this is, but somebody fixed this up. Okay. Um, we didn't get to science yesterday. What did we do? Oh, you know what? They had snack, and I, that's when I finished the read aloud. They were eating snack, and I finished the read aloud, and then um, they worked really, really hard yesterday. Like, I will say they worked very hard, so I just let them I have, like, five minutes because I had bus duty, so we had to leave a couple minutes early anyway. I had let them have five minutes just to chat, finish up their snack with their friends, um, and they, they enjoy that. They like doing that, obviously. So um, let me actually look at the quiz for today because some of the wording of it, I told you guys my, my struggle about this quiz. I'm going to go, I will talk to you later. Oh, I can't talk on prep today because I meet with my mentor. I realized yesterday when I was saying I was meeting with my mentor student, I kept saying my mentor, but she's my mentee, I'm the mentor. <laughs> but today I'm meeting with my mentor, another teacher that mentors me, so. Sorry, just clearing up that confusion. Um, so yeah, I meet with her today on prep, so I probably won't be able to chat much. So I'll probably talk to you at the end of the day. We shall see. And yeah, I will catch up with you at some point. So I've never had a full class. <clears throat> ever this year. Not even the first day of school, not even the first week, second week, never. I've never had a full class, so it's not happening today either. Just got two emails from parents saying that their child's not coming to school today. I just feel like I'm constantly catching kids up and it's just annoying. I just want one day when they're all here. Just one day. One day when they're all here. How crazy is that? I did this cute global map last week for Kevin Hankey's. Did I show you guys that? I think I might have showed you that already. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go. Kids will be here in like 10 minutes. Um, finish my morning reading group. They're still finishing up testing, so it wasn't super eventful today. <clears throat> but I'm gonna go and get myself situated for the rest of the day. Hello everybody, it is the afternoon, it's 4.15 about, and I am heading to the gym, clearly I'm no longer at work. Um, the day was fine, like the rest of the day was good. The last time I spoke to you I think was like way early in the morning, and I think before school actually started. And, <coughs> um, you know, it was just a pretty average day. Um, I'm really trying to work with my students on like the math skills that they're learning. The strategies that they're learning are to count on, to subtract, and they just really struggle with that. Sorry if it's loud, you know, bumpy roads and old car. Um, but 
but they like really just struggle with the counting on to subtract because they think that they're supposed to be adding. So it's 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 a little difficult, um, but I think we're slowly getting there. I pulled a lot of small groups today to work on math with them, so hopefully it's you know hopefully they get the hang of it. I don't know. We're hoping for the best over here. Other than that, the day was pretty meh. Um, you know they did. They were, oh, I thought the phone was falling. <laughs> Which they were able to draw um, like pictures on Brain Pop. The Brain Pop thing had, whoops, a place for pictures. So I thought that that was fun. So they were able to draw that. And then I had to draw pictures of like things that were transparent, opaque, translucent. And uh, I don't really remember. Then they, they, the end of the day was pretty quick. Like they, we go come back from lunch and then they go to the special and then time for like a little bit of science so yeah it was an overall good day I had a lot of students absent today there was like five students absent so that was pretty crazy um, but we didn't really learn too 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 much new things which is good I keep thinking the camera's falling it's just a stupid thing um, so yeah hopefully everyone's back tomorrow I mean like this is like crazy that I have not had a full class since ever like I just find that to be wild that I have not had everyone in my class ever. Like, there's always someone absent. It's like really, really, really annoying. It's fine, okay? I have a migraine so bad. I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know what my triggers are, but, and I've, I've seen a neurologist, had MRIs, like I just have migraines. And of course, I ran out of my medication for my migraines, so I, struggled all day and I still don't have it and I have to go to the gym because like I said earlier this morning if I don't go now I'm never gonna go so I just have to go get out of the way I have to be tough it's like not bad right now I just feel it coming on like I just I feel it like it's coming it's there it's there she's there she's ready she's ready to party um so yeah anyways I'm almost at the gym so I got gas oh I told you I got gas this morning so I didn't need to get gas which I thanked myself because as I was leaving work today, I was like, ugh, could you imagine if I would have had to get gas right now? But future me, or past me, thought about future me. Anyways, I'm going to go to the gym, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is Wednesday. We're taking a foundations test. We're starting a new math lesson. And I don't know. I also got an email that I'm getting observed December 1st. Oh, my goodness. So cross your fingers that everything goes well for that. It's not for a while, but... I will definitely show you guys more about planning for an observation and whatnot. So, yeah, I'm going to go, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It's Wednesday. It's a rainy Wednesday, and we're going to do this thing. We are going to do this thing today. <laughs> I have my gym bag. I'm going to the gym after work, per usual. I go... Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, three days a week. And I think that's a good, good compromise. I have a Pop-Tart heated up in tin foil. Um, I was like, not very hungry, but I know that I'm gonna be hungry. So Pop-Tart it is, I didn't feel like making a bagel or like any type of actual breakfast. So we're eating a Pop-Tart today. It's not super cold out, but I just brought my rain jacket because I don't know if it's supposed to rain all day. I think it's supposed to stop, but you never know. We got bus duty, so we have to stand outside for a little bit longer in the rain today than usual, or a little bit longer outside today. So it's supposed to be like 50, so it's not gonna be super, super cold. That's not, I mean, that's cold for me, but not like yesterday. Yesterday was freezing. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna head out to school. It's 710 right now, and I will give you the rundown when we get there. I'm feeling a lot better today. My nose is still a little bit stuffy, but my voice is back. And <clears throat> like, I feel like not super sick. 
which is good. So happy about that. I realized I didn't take my vitamin C today. It is what it is. I'm not going back inside. All right, I'm gonna head to school and I will talk to you when I get there. Hello, we are in the classroom. Just got here, gonna give you the rundown of the day. On my handy dandy notepad. So I am reading, <clears throat> update. I've been reading the read aloud in the morning, at least like yesterday I finished the whole thing, but at least like some of it. Just so, because I told you guys yesterday, I don't have like a block of time where I can spend on the read aloud. So I have to kind of like split it up into two parts. So I start it in the morning. Where's my mouse? Well, okay, there it is. I start it in the morning. So today we're reading Over on a Mountain. We're done with Kevin Hankey's, unfortunately. This is by Marianne Burks. I think this is about like numbers. I have to read it before. Oh my, oh. Yeah, this is a number book. It's like this, and oh my gosh. I was handwriting post-its and then our school gave us a resource where we can just print them on the post-its and then stick them in there. Best thing ever, best thing ever. Um, <clears throat> and then we're doing the foundations test today with my foundations group. So it'll be nice and easy day, well, for me. They're taking the test, but they'll be fine. They're a good group. Um, and then we have like 10 minutes before we have music after that. So I'll finish the read aloud. And then we will do math. We're starting a new math lesson today. We're on lesson seven, session one. So this is adding and subtracting in word problems. So I'm hoping that this is a little bit better for them without like the number path and counting on to subtract and everything. It literally, it looks like it's going to downpour. It looks so much darker than when I just came into school. And then if we have time, they'll do their I ready minutes. I think we will have time because normally session one is only like two or three questions. So, um, I think that we'll have time for their eye writing minutes because I'm not, I have to check and see like how many they've been doing because <clears throat> this week has just been, I've been really trying to like do hands-on math. So, okay, 10 of them have been practicing for 10 to 29 minutes. Eight were on 30 to 49. So eight of them reached their goal already. And there's only three that have been on it for 10 minutes, which is probably the group of kids that I pulled. Uh-oh, this girl failed her lesson. So maybe I'll pull her really quick before we go on to I ready. Um, and then we're gonna have snack. <clears throat> and then the kids will go to their pullouts. And then we have like 10 minutes after that before lunch. So I'm gonna read the great, actually I'm gonna play the great turkey race book. Um, and then we go to lunch and then we're going to do write about reading because I did not get to it yesterday. I did science. Actually, my daily five yesterday kind of like went down the drain because it, I don't even know. Oh, because I was pulling math groups for a while because they really needed it. Why is everything moved? Everything is moved over and I don't like when my things are moved. <laughs> I have to fix that. Um, and then daily five, they have to take their star test today. I have to have them do it. It's not due until the end of next, or Tuesday next week, because we don't have students on Wednesday. Um, so, to figure that out. No, I'll do it today. As long as I have like a good chunk of kids here today. Yesterday I had like five absent. Um, and then we're gonna do science at the end of the day, and that's gonna be to draw transparent and opaque objects in their science notebooks, because yesterday we talked about it, so today I want them to kind of recall that information and write it in their own notebooks. So that is what we are doing today. Um, I'm gonna fix my area because it's like, I'm not sure what's happening. Okay, I fixed it much better and I had to change desks again. I just have some student concerns so I'm bringing some of those students up to the front so that I know that they're like paying attention the best that they can. <laughs> um, so I don't know. That's just, ooh, sorry, I'm really shaky. Um, I don't know. So my room is kind of like in shambles. I have like 
one, two, three, four, five groups and three students by themselves. So it's just it's a little bit wonky, but it's fine. It's fine. Anyways, I'm going to go now and get myself situated for the day. I will talk to you. Probably won't talk to you till the end of the day again because I have prep and my prep like is in my classroom. So, or my special is in my classroom today. So yeah, I won't be able to really talk much during that. So it's okay. I will talk to you guys later though. Hello, good morning. It's Thursday. I keep thinking today's Friday, but it's only Thursday. <laughs> I just got a bagel and some hot chocolate. It is freezing, freezing out today. I'm going to start driving while I'm talking to you. Hopefully you don't fall. I know you will, but I'm hoping that you don't. <laughs> um, we're supposed to get flurries today. And I'm not a fan of the cold. Like if anyone knows me, they know I told you you guys would fall. If anyone knows me, you know I hate the cold. I cannot stand it. My least favorite thing about living in New York. And today we're supposed to have flurries. Like it's so cold out. I'm not a fan. I am going to drive and when I get to school I will talk to you while I'm eating my bagel and drinking my hot chocolate because it's one of those days. Normally I do only go on Fridays, but I woke up today and I was like, no, no way that I don't get a bagel. There's no way, I need one right now. Okay, I will talk to you later. Hello, in the classroom now, just got here, got myself situated, going to go over my post-it, it's not a post-it, my paper, my piece of paper with you, like I normally do, so. I'm going to be reading a read aloud when they come in. It's Moha Means One. Again, and we're doing like the counting books now and they loved, oh my goodness, they loved the one. I think it's called Over on a Mountain or something. They loved that one. There was like little hidden animals in it. So we were like trying to find the hidden animals on each page. And they just loved to see all of the animals in general. Like they loved it, so. I'm not so sad that we're done with Kevin Hankies because <laughs> they love that one. And then we're doing foundations. I'm actually not, I don't think I'm teaching foundations today. I'm having um, <clears throat> like the foundations person <laughs> come in. Um, she had reached out and asked like if I needed help with anything, like how everything was going. And I didn't want to say like, no, I'm good because I appreciated her reaching out. So I said like my students needed help with vowels and of course that's not very uncommon. A lot of, a lot of, there's a, a lot of students that need that kind of support. Um, so she's gonna come in and model something for me. She was like, do you want me to come in? I was like, sure. I'm like, yes, please. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm gonna teach like any part of the lesson or she's gonna do the whole thing. But so yeah, that'll be fun. Then we have math. And so we just started our new math lesson yesterday. So far it was good. There was only two questions, but so far it was good. Um, so I'm actually pulling that up right now. It's adding and subtracting the word problems. So I'm hoping that we can just do what we did yesterday. <laughs> and then they go to gym. And then my students have pullouts. So I pulled guided reading group yesterday and they did so good. We actually like, I spent time with them working on character because this group is a high group, but the problem is that they can read all the words on the page. But when I ask them my comprehension questions, they're kind of like, what? So some questions, sometimes they're like honest. Sometimes they just didn't, they missed that part of the book. So I was working with them yesterday on character setting, problem and solution. So I think that um, they had fun with that and I think they got the point across. So that was good. So today I'm gonna let them work on their writing during that time because I kind of like alternate. I do like, I pull a group one day and the next day I let them work on their writing. So they're writing, they have like a whole list of things they can write about for the month of November. So they, um, are finishing up writing about their leaders from like election day. So we made a leader um, bubble map. And they are writing from that and then like giving examples of like students in the classroom that 
show like <clears throat> leadership qualities and I thought it was so funny because they're using like I have a star student so they're like oh my gosh like so and so is a leader because they're the star student and they always follow directions and the other thing so they have fun with that and then I'll, a couple of them finished that already um and so the next one I think is like three things that you're grateful for so I didn't do like a bubble map for that one I want to see like what they come up with one student already told me she's like I put you as something as someone that I'm grateful for I was like girl girl you shouldn't have girl it's so funny um <clears throat> anyways and then I'm gonna probably finish the read aloud in between that and lunch then we go to lunch and then we have daily five um I have to pull I have to pull groups today and then they're gonna eat snack we didn't get to science yesterday so today we're gonna do science I'm like still stuffy a little bit um but yeah so that's the day today should be a nice easy day I said it now now I'm gonna jinx myself um but yeah so I'm gonna go get myself ready for my morning reading groups because I need to figure out my life for that and I'm gonna eat my bagel totally forgot that I even had it and maybe she wrapped it she like twisted it isn't that funny and yeah that's the plan right now and I will talk to you on prep Hello! It is the end of the day. I'm sorry that I did not get to chat during my prep. I was busy, so I don't know why I said it like that. So I did not get to chat, but the day was fine. My stomach started to hurt at the end of the day. I got like really nauseous, so I'm going home. I'm going to work out at home today. I'm not going to go to the gym just because my stomach like, does not feel right so I don't want to go to the gym <laughs> so I'm gonna take this day as a nice little excuse even though I don't need an excuse it's just one of those days you know it's Thursday we're almost at the end of the week I'm like is it Friday yet almost we're almost there <laughs> but anyways so I am going to talk to you tomorrow like I said tomorrow is Friday Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Good morning, everybody. I am getting ready for work. And I figured I'd start the video off here. I'm sorry. I will be looking over here. I know the camera is right there, but it's so hard not to look at the one, at the, like the frame. <clears throat> so, and plus I'm doing makeup, so I kind of need to look at it. <laughs> um, it is Friday. Happy Friday. I am debating getting Starbucks this morning only because, hear me out guys, it's Friday. That's number one. And even though I got a bagel yesterday, we have been eating the leftover food from our engagement party and it's been <laughs> hard on my stomach. I'm not gonna lie to you. Hard on my stomach with all of this food and it's the same food and it's just like too much so we didn't go food shopping this week because we knew we were going to eat all the leftovers so we have no food <laughs> and i need to eat something for lunch and i don't want to bring leftovers because i'm done with them i can't eat anymore so i was gonna buy like one of the little lunch boxes or like the yeah lunch boxes from Starbucks and just eat that for lunch but you know I don't really want to spend money trying to save up over here and I'm like it's just one time even though it wasn't one time <laughs> I got a bagel yesterday I don't know you know it's just feeling guilty of buying food but it's fine we'll figure something out um i don't really know what the plans are today definitely fun friday they worked really really hard all week so i will definitely be giving them some time for fun friday we're gonna do normal foundations and then we will do man i have a prep in the afternoon today so <sighs> i like having prep in the afternoon but sometimes i'm like i like the morning prep because it breaks it up and we have lunch at one. So it's such a long, from nine to one, it's such a long time. Why are 
don't, I never use this palette anymore. Um, so it kind of breaks it up, but I love it because we get a lot done in the morning. Like you just bang out everything and then normally we just do like daily five when we come back and then some sort of like reading, writing, science thing. So I do like it, but I also like the afternoon prep, especially on a Friday because you get to get yourself all situated for the next week. And then the kids normally do like a fun Friday thing because I only have like 20 minutes after sure they're special anyway. So by the time they take out their computers and actually get on, they only have about 15 minutes. And I think that that's a fair amount of time for Fun Friday. And it's like an educational Fun Friday. Like they're on ABC, yeah. And I know there's like games on there, but I'm okay with them playing a couple of games, especially when they worked so hard. All right, I'm gonna go do my eyebrows. You know how I can't do my eyebrows on camera. <laughs> and I will talk to you when I'm at school. Got my sandwich, eating it. So good. Schedule for the day. Sorry. <laughs> Foundations. We are introducing Am and Anne today. Or we did it yesterday. And <clears throat> so we're working with that again today. And then we're gonna do math. We're on lesson seven, session three. So they did good. They did good yesterday. Hopefully we continue the trend. And then we're gonna do daily five. I have one student left who has to do the star test. And then <clears throat> And then they're gonna have snack and then they're gonna get their go to their pullouts and then when they come back we're gonna do our spelling test and then go to lunch after lunch we have a couple minutes before we go to art so <clears throat> i'm gonna have them finish their spelling test if they didn't and then i'll do a read aloud and then they're gonna go to art and then when they come back we only have a couple minutes so they'll do fun friday as long as they're doing what they're supposed to be doing throughout throughout the day. So it should be a nice, hopefully chill, easy Friday. I have a meeting this morning in 20 minutes. <clears throat> so um, just waiting for that. I'm pretty much all set. I'm planning for next week. Um, it's only two days next week. Next week is Thanksgiving. So <clears throat> the students are off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We come in for conferences on Wednesday and then we're off Thursday, Friday. So. That's that. Um, their I ready goal. I looked up their past quizzes yesterday, past lessons. They got 47 last week or this week. 47 altogether. I was very, very impressed. So super happy. So they're like two, what are they? Like three away from, no, two away. What did they get before? Two away from their goal and then i told them i would give them give them a surprise i don't know what the surprise is gonna be we have to figure that out but they'll definitely obviously get it next week and they were working so hard so next time i think we're gonna up the goal to maybe like 125 <clears throat> or maybe like 105 maybe we'll do like or maybe like 110 we'll see how it goes but yeah so i have to answer a couple parents that sent me some messages last night and get ready to go to this meeting, finish my breakfast. And yeah, I'll talk to you later. Okay, it's prep time. <clears throat> I was just getting a couple of things in order for my observation. It's December 1st, but I, <clears throat> oh, every time I start talking on here, my voice goes out. Um, so I'm just like putting like random things up, making sure everything is like taped and looks good. Um, so yeah, just been doing couple of little things here and there while well, my kids are at art right now so one of my students is actually moving so oh my gosh I did not give them the spelling test why do I do that I always forget about the spelling test um I could do it Monday one of my students is moving so they're writing them a letter for fun Friday that's their fun Friday today and then if there's time I'm gonna have them clean out their desks because their desks are a hot mess express so we are going to try and do that and yeah oh my gosh i cannot believe and i had to put the computers away i'm a mess today i can't believe i forgot the spelling test i have to make my sticky note for monday about what we're doing so let me do that and then 
I, I also have to make my little turkey for next week. I'm gonna make it. They're gonna do like what they're grateful for in the turkey. So I'm just gonna make like a, a quick one so that they can see what it's gonna look like when it's done. And yeah, okay, I have a lot to do, gotta go, bye. Good morning, happy Saturday. I'm on my way to work, I teach Saturday school. I teach fourth grade. Um, we're gonna have a fun day today. We're gonna make like a turkey craft and stuff like that. But I just wanted to end the video here. It was a whole week of my life. It's freezing. It snowed yesterday. And I'm eating a English muffin with butter. So anyways, I don't wanna drive and talk. So I'm gonna go to work come home would you believe me if I told you that I am sick again I woke up with a wicked sore throat I don't know what the deal is but yeah I'm literally sick again and I was just sick in this vlog and I'm sick again <laughs> and I was feeling so much better yesterday <clears throat> I was like, yes, we're done. I have ice on my windshield. I'm ready for my car to heat up. I'm done being sick. I felt so good. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. My body said, psych. Here comes another one. So, I took vitamin C last night when I felt bad. And today. So, I'm sorry I'm just chewing in your face, but hungry and when I get to work I gotta do a bunch of things so yeah okay I'm gonna go my windshield is still not cleared off but anyways sorry it's loud I'm gonna go I'll talk to you in the next video